Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is the Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. All right, people. It's that time again. Yeah. To give you all that real shit, you feel me? This is the Bad Boy yep. Radio Show with Miles Cunningham and Mr. Locario. What's popping, people? Yeah. So today, today's topic, man, we're gonna be talking about how male feminist manginas and simps mess up the game. You feel me? Because they they fucking everything up. You feel what I'm saying? It's <laughs> it's hard out here for a pimp because these dudes are just like they just getting in the way, man. They they making shit, you know, terrible. You feel me? But um, before we get into all that, uh, we're going to take a, a quick commercial break. And then after the commercial break, we're going to get into some news. And then we're going to get into the topic and we're going to make it happen. All right. You're listening to the Bad Boy Radio Show. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy no, Membership no, program. TV? In this program, you'll receive 45 to 90 minute, easy to follow, mm-hmm. step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. All right, we're back. We are back on the Bad Boy Show. All right, man. So, Miles, what's popping, man? What's going on in life? What's what's happening with you? Nothing. Miles, you mad quiet? What happened, son? <laughs> I think Miles' uh, phone cut off or something. But we got We're gonna get him back in a second. But um, but we got yeah. some, you. Hear me? You hear me, Miles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, what's cool. Now I was saying, what's popping? How's like? How's life? Life is awesome. Um, yeah, you know, you trying to trying to make it, it happen. Making it happen. I'm. I got every every um every so often I I make a list and I'm I keep crossing things off my list. That yeah, I feel you. When you're an entrepreneur, like you know what I'm saying. The list keeps things that gotta get longer. done. So you gotta keep track and get them done. It's true. It's true. It's true. I feel you on that. Yeah. I feel you on that. Yeah. So, uh, we got some stuff in the news, man. <laughs> Got some fuckery in the news going on. Oh yeah, it's a lot of bullshit in the news. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so the first thing, you know, I was online and I saw this thing is about a t- a teacher, this this uh, guy who was a a girls basketball coach, and he lured his students with food and good grades, and he ended up having sex with some sixteen year old, and he was asking her to send him nude pictures and all this other shit. So, you know, of course he got arrested and all that other stuff and blah, 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 oh my yada, yada, God. yada, you know what I'm saying? So, Yo. I know. It's, yeah, it's terrible out here. It's terrible out here. What? See, you see, that type of shit automatically makes me think that son got a, like, got a mental issue. Right, right, right. Because, like, how do you, how you, how you really don't think of them telling nobody or nobody finding out, bro? Like, Mm-hmm. I know. Right. What do you, what do you mean? And you're like, see the the thing with the with the when the, when the women do it, mm-hmm. it's still ridiculous. But it's like, well, it's women, and you know, right? This is on the emotional shit and blah right. blah blah. But when it's a dude, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're it's something wrong with you, bro. Because <laughs> you can't you can't even look at a chick these. I mean, a grown woman, you can't even look at it these days without catching some type of flack. And you you luring kids and fucking them and asking them to send you pictures. Like, come on, son. right, right. It's like, come on. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Like, like exactly. What did you do? I mean, you, you had that center of the dude that was sending dick pics to the lady the other day, grown woman, mm-hmm. and, they, and they got mad at the dude. Right, right. Because, he, you know, you know, he was married and he was supposed to be an upstanding citizen and all that bullshit. But I'm like, yeah, you can't be doing that. You a man. You can't. <laughs> you can't. I, oh, I just man. don't understand what is it with these teachers and, and the kids. I mean, like, God, like, you know, come on, son. Like, I don't understand that shit. Like. <sighs> What's what's the point? Like, dude, just just after work, you understand? Go go one of your friends to one of these bars or a strip club or get an escort if you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, right? What the fuck? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I don't understand these motherfuckers. It's crazy. 
I, I sometimes I think people they 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 they're a slave to their fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> because no, like you think about it, like so. You know, you're a, you're a guy, and you know you're you're because well, these kids are in high school, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm saying I'm saying this not to give him an excuse, and you know you know pedophilia is wrong, and blah blah blah. But there, that's when the age is getting close to the age of consent. You right. Know I mean? Right. Exactly. So. Like I said, again, disclaimer, I'm not, and none of this shit is an excuse, and I'm not saying is, you know, I'm not supporting pedophilia, but what I am saying is so, certain people who have certain weaknesses or certain mental, you understand, like de- deficiencies, right. they probably develop some type of fantasy. Like, for example, a regular person who got an office job, you, you oh, like, every day, <laughs> oh my God, I can't even say that shit, but... <laughs> I, like honestly, I'm not even attracted to the women at my job. Like, cause I have a nine to five as well. Right. You know, I'm an entrepreneur, but I, you know, I'm keeping it real. Niggas got a nine to five. Make sure shit keep moving. You feel me? Right. But point is, I'm not even attracted to the females at my job. And every once in a while, you kind of like it will be something if I could bend over this 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 desk right now. Right. Or, right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. Just because, like, not e- like trust me, like they cool people and everything, but I'm not even attracted to them like that. But still. You have a fantasy, like you have a daydream, you have a little thing, like okay. So I can imagine if a if a nigga got a weakness and he's working around these like adolescent teenage girls, and some of them develop quicker than others, and like right. I said, it's getting to that age, like they're, they're they're you know sixteen is right around the corner. I mean sixteen, eighteen is right around the corner. You see what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So it's you know for a nigga with a weakness like that, you start to have fantasies, and then you have some people who. They're a slave to their fantasies where it's like, it don't matter what the consequences. I need to live out this fantasy no matter what the mm-hmm. cost. Right. Me? And then they get into that bullshit. See, it's, it's man, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, fucked up. it's hard it's out fucked here up. in the streets, man. You know that's, that's why you got to, yo, that's why it's so important to, to like, family shit is crazy. If you're going to have a family, take that shit seriously and be connected to your kids. You understand? Mm-hmm. Right, like, they, right. don't, they don't necessarily, your kids don't necessarily have to like you and all that shit, but make sure you know what's going on in your kid's life and make sure that you, you let them know about certain values. You understand? Right. Because me as a kid, like, my mom, for example, she taught me, you don't always have to accept stuff people giving you. You understand? Mm-hmm. Like, if you go to somebody's house, you don't have to eat anything there. And, like, if you're in a place and you feel uncomfortable or you just don't like to like but you know you go to somebody's house and it, it might not be all that clean so you might think twice about eating from them you know what i'm saying right right so my mom she made sure she told me things like that so if 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 my college if my you know high school coaches offer me food I'm like now nah, i'm good i'm a <laughs> you know after practice i'm gonna go my ass home you feel right, me right right but these, how you gonna lure me with food when you know? So these kids getting lured by food, like maybe their parents didn't tell them, like, yo, you don't have to accept shit just because people are being nice to you. Mm-hmm. You could, you could. It's easy. It's cool to say no thanks and come home and eat your own dinner or whatever it is. Right. You, right. you know, like it's crazy. It's crazy. You gotta, yo, because you don't know who's around your kids, and you leave it up to these teachers and shit and coaches. It's not always pretty. Right. No, it's true, man. It's crazy. Now this nigga gonna have to go in jail, and it's just uh it's it's terrible. But anyway, so moving on. <laughs> next crazy. story is even, is 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 terrible. Also, it's, why is the news always bad? Can't we have some good news? Fuck no. Yeah. I guess good news doesn't make you know headlines. I guess. But anyway, nah. so yeah. there's another story of a a guy who poured burning water on a sleeping gay couple. So. This dude, he threw uh, boiling water on his girlfriend's son and boyfriend while they were sleeping, you know, in the house. You understand? And he was basically mm-hmm. like, you know, I don't want that gay shit in the house. So he right. poured boiling water on them. You understand what I'm saying? And right. I'm just like, really? And and if you go online and you look at this story, you you, it, you could see like the shit like fucked up his whole back. And I think his, they had to, it was, it just looked nasty. You know what I mean? Like, right. because it, it fucked right. up their skin and everything. I'm just like, and this, this, this type of shit annoys me because just because you don't agree with their lifestyle, right. doesn't mean you have to do shit. You understand? Like right. Pete, that's, right. that's the part that I, I, I really hate about, you know, people sometimes where it's like, they don't like what you're doing, so they feel like they need to 
uh, take it upon themselves to, you know, do extra shit with it. You understand? To like, cause you harm or right, some craziness. Right, you know like, what I'm like, like the guy that punched the dude at the Trump rally and right. shit like that. Like, it's like, yo, you can have your opinion. You could be like, oh, I don't like that shit or whatever. You could say that all day till you blew in the face, but then why you got to take it to the extreme where you fucking with, with, with other motherfuckers, you know, situation. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. I'm like, damn, like, and, and then, then to go to that extreme where you're pour, pouring boiling hot water on motherfuckers, <laughs> That's crazy. See, that shit is, you know, you know what's crazy about that shit? Really, like that shit don't even show, you know, a, a crime of passion. That right. shit is like, yeah, I, I caught the, I put the water in the pot, mm-hmm. put it on the stove, right, and sat there while it boiled. Boil. Exactly. With the intention of pouring it on your ass, like right. that's like, crazy. Dude. Like that's some <laughs> sick shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like Yo. he was, it wasn't like he was just in the house. And you know the, the 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 son and the boyfriend was chilling on the couch, and they started making out, and then he started like punching them in the face or something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he's right. like, "Oh fuck this, blah blah blah." Like right. like you said, he had to take time to think about this shit. You understand? Right. While, while the water was boiling, he he had enough time to say, "You know what? This might not be a good idea." Like, let me chill. You understand? <laughs> and just made himself some tea or some shit. You know what I mean? Yo, like, if if anything, I would have like let's just say I was an asshole like that. I would have. Uh, to keep from fucking actually bringing, you know, offensive, chargeable harm to someone, mm. why not take a bucket of ice or something? You understand? <laughs> like, get a lot of ice, put some water in there, make it real cold, and throw that on them, like, more like a prank type of right, thing. Right. You feel me? Like, yo, that gay shit is whack. Here goes some cold water to cool y'all hot asses down or whatever. Because <laughs> right. cause y'all niggas is flaming. Make it a joke. <laughs> something. But... Come on, son. You you sat there and bought water for these niggas. Like, right. That's wrong, I'm just right. like, that's crazy. And I'm just like, yo, let motherfuckers live. You know what I mean? Because, you know, there's, right. cer- there's certain things, you know, it's, it's just like in life. It's, it's a lot of stuff that you're not going to agree with. There's a lot of stuff you're of not. Course. like Like, you know, like, I'm not for uh, all that feminist stuff, but I will never cause harm to anybody who's feminist or who's a feminist, right. you know what I'm saying? Who's a feminist. I'm not right. going to be like, oh, I got to punch you. I got to ruin your life. You know what I'm saying? All, right, we, all right. we need to do is agree to disagree. Do your thing. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, right. oh, like I that, and that's the thing where we talk about the truth is inside you because we're talking about yo, you gotta live your shit. You understand what I'm saying? Live how right. you want to live. Be how you want to be. But it's fucked up where you have people who can't just chill and you know accept that this is what you what you're about. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Because if you want to say something about it feel free to say something about it that's cool you understand like the person ain't gotta like what you're saying the person you know you don't gotta like what they're doing but you're free to say what you want to say because it's not really gonna you know it's just gonna roll off somebody back it's just your opinion but when you right. start you know fucking like actually you know liter- and, and this goes even beyond just like harming somebody you have people who they don't like like just like if you're on youtube or something like they do that to us where they don't like what we say so they gotta go out their way to like shut the channel down or take this shit down or, you know, complain right. to get this done or, you know, or, 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 you know, pick it so that they can, you know, take all this shit out. It's just like, yo, like let motherfuckers live. You know see what I'm saying? Like right. just chill the fuck out. I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm totally with that because look, man, trust me. I think all that shit is disgusting. Okay. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> like I, w- I, I wouldn't, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Right. Straight up and down, that shit is weird to me. It's disgusting. Right. But, but, like, yo, we live in America. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, and not only that, like, personally, I feel like you should have the freedom to do that shit. Right. Dude. Like, right. because, see, the thing is, and it's not even like I'm thinking about you or some compassionate shit. I'm thinking about me. Right, right. Because I wouldn't want you telling me what I couldn't do. Right, exactly, exactly. Or <laughs> I wouldn't want to be laying in a bed with a female, mm-hmm. and because you think heterosexuality is wrong, you're going to come pour some fucking right, salt right. and water on me. You feel right, me? That's exactly. No, hell no. Exactly. So because of that reason, I'm like, listen, that shit is disgusting as hell, but hey, mm-hmm. have, good t- have a good fucking time, because this is life, and we're here to live it. You feel me? Right, right. It's crazy. Oh, my God. I mean, if anything, he could have been like, listen, I'll go half on a motel with y'all niggas, but I really can't have that in my house. Like, or, mm. I mean, was it, was it his house they was in? I think it was his, it was his, uh, his girlfriend's, uh, it was his girlfriend's house. And then the, it was the, you know, the girlfriend's son and, and his, the son's boyfriend or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even think it was his house. I'm not sure. 
but I know oh, okay. it was his his girlfriend's house, so I don't okay. know. I was like, and it's not even it's not even. See, that's the thing. Like like let's just say I was a like an older man, like a father or whatever. You right. know what I'm saying? And it was my house. I would be like, look, man, y'all could come over, have a good time, but I if y'all gonna really be sleeping together, I just. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we compromise on a hotel or something? Because I just don't want that in my house. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you don't want to hear the gay sex in together. your house? Yeah, I don't, I don't... Because if in the middle of the night, y'all niggas get, get, get you know... I, like, I don't want that type of shit in my sheets and shit. Like, I got to watch you. Or my wife got to watch... Like, no. No. Just come through. Let's watch the game. Eat, right. eat. Let's eat some food. Let's chill. But at the end of the night, y'all niggas is going to a hotel. I'm sorry, like... <laughs> I'll, I'll drive you to the hotel I'll pay half of the hotel For the night Whatever But y'all need Come on son But my point is In saying that is To communicate And come to a compromise You understand Right Like within the situation Like don't Don't fucking Hurt people You know what I'm saying If something is really a problem And it's uncomfortable for you Your, your best bet Is to just be honest Be respectful But express yourself You see right, what I'm saying Right Exactly it's, it's, you, you, that you know, bringing harm to people—that's when you take it to another level. And no matter what your 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 ideology was, you're at, th- at this point you're pretty much wrong. Like no matter what it was, you right? Know what I'm right. So nah, it's crazy. Real, real talk, real talk, man. So yeah, you people you just gotta let people live, man, for real. So anyway, live, man. anyway, in uh, in other news, uh, your boy Hulk Hogan uh, was allegedly awarded. A hundred and fifteen million dollars, uh, mm. in because because his sex tape got I guess leaked by Gawker. I think that was the the the, right. the magazine, yeah. So or or website or whatever it is. But I'm just like, I'm like, damn. Like, is he is he really getting all that money though? Like, do they even have that type of money to give to this nigga? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, well, first of all, Gawker that that's a website, right? Yeah, uh, I think it's the website. Magazine. Yeah. They might have the money. They might be getting that much money, or it might be the type of thing where they pay him over the course of a couple of years, right? And shit like that. Because I'm just like, you know. God and on top damn. of that, he's not actually taking home 115. He's gonna get taxed, and he's gonna have to pay his lawyers. Right. So he's probably gonna be taking home more, like anywhere around 25 to 50. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. But damn, that's still shit. That's still. A and lot he of probably gotta money. give some of that shit to his ex-wife. Right, right, man, <laughs> man. Though, but that's that's crazy. Like. You just getting money for some 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 leaked fucking sex tape, you understand? Yeah. And, nigg- and niggas got to go to work in the morning to make money. Like, get the fuck out of here! This is <laughs> this is some bullshit. Like, it's like when you hear shit like that, it's just like for real. Like, oh my god! Like, dudes is just getting money for nothing, son. Like, yeah, but it's not nothing. It's not nothing. B. It's 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 it's. It's a situation, like, <laughs> because, I, no, think about it. Them people made, they, uh, Hulk Hogan is a famous dude, right? Right, right. Like, Hulk Hogan, um, depending on where, I just looked it up the other day, depending on where he, not looked it up, but I saw, like, a video interview with him the other day. Depending on where he's at, mm-hmm. he can literally charge, like, at least $25 per signature, mm-hmm. and then he gets paid, like, $500 an hour to be wherever he's at. Right. You understand? That's crazy. So. Them having a sex tape, you know how many, you know how many, how much like, you know, advertisement deals they probably made with that footage. Right, for their right. probably got like a lot of hits and all that shit. And yeah, all, crazy. and all that shit counts. All that shit counts. So, right. you know, based on law, based on technology, based on the volume, based on all of those things associated with, you know, he could he could talk about embarrassment. It was without his permission. All right, of these things. Right. You know, get you. I mean. Suing the whole that whole suing shit is a big hustle, but right, it's make like, the law work for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Make the law work for you sometimes. Because I'm, I'm just like, because you, when you think about this shit, like being sued is 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 fucking crazy. Because yeah, when you think about it, like imagine you're you're the person who owns Gawker and you got to pay this nigga this amount of money. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like right. over some bull, like it's the same thing with Fifty Fifty Cent. Now he got to pay Rick Ross' baby mama like seven million, and he got to pay I think this, the 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 headphone company like sixteen million or some shit. And I'm just wow. like, God damn! Like just over like little ass mistakes. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. Like, yep. <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, that's, that's crazy. Like, everything you do, you gotta have your, you gotta have a lawyer, man. Mm-hmm. Every like nowadays, like it, when you it's like when you when you go past a certain tax bracket, lawyer, you gotta right. have a lawyer. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. 
because you you would you would think that that a lawyer costs so much money, mm. but the amount of money that they actually save you, you, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Is is nothing compared to what you what you pay them, or maybe it's like ten percent. Man, but, that's just crazy. Wow. Yeah, man. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> so in other news, I just saw this actually uh, just now on Facebook or earlier in Facebook. I wanted to talk about it. So there was a. a uh, uh, I don't know how true this story is because it sounds kind of crazy, but I was just like, damn, like, is this shit really still happening in, in today's world or whatever? So basically, there was a cab driver who, I guess, drove some chick somewhere and then she basically claimed that he sexually assaulted her or whatever. Yeah. But but it was a oh, lie. Man. And and I guess he, he caught, I guess some of their conversation on his phone or something like that. So then it was right. caught that, you know, that she was lying. And I think she got like 16 months in jail for getting caught lying or something like that. And 16 months. Yeah. Something like that. So she need about 16 years. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm just like, yo, I'm just like, this shit is crazy because like, you know, the dude in the story, the dude is basically saying like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm scared to like, uh, to, to, to drive my cab and pick up people anymore. And, you know, he's like, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. You know what I'm saying? You, because, see, but, you see, this is what I'm, this is what I was, the point I was trying to make earlier when, when, when we were talking about the dude, the, 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 the coach, with right, the kids. Right. I'm like, nigga, you, this is the world now. Like you fucking mm -hmm. blink at a bitch. Like it's a problem. Like, mm -hmm. you feel me? Right. Right. It's crazy. And I'm just like, and I'm just like, in in the, in the story, it doesn't even say, like why she did it you understand like there right. was no reason right. it's just she did it and it's just like right. and imagine you imagine she imagine some shit like that happened where she you know because because a lot of times what chicks will do which is which fucking sucks is depending on the situation that they're in they'll make up some shit to either cover their ass for what they was doing or to mm -hmm. rationalize what they were doing. So let's say she was on her way to meet her boyfriend and she was just, you know, she just like cheated on her boyfriend or some shit. So then let's say she was on her way to meet a boyfriend and she was late to meeting him. So she was in a cab and then she, then the boyfriend was like, yo, where the fuck was you at? And why are you so late? And you look like you was messing with somebody. And she was like, oh, but, um, yeah, I was in a cab and then the cab driver, uh, sexually assaulted me. You feel what I'm saying? Like they just say shit, and then now it, imagine this dude could have went to jail because of of her stupidness. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like that right. shit. That shit like that like pisses me the fuck off because I'm like, yo, you're you're playing with people's lives yep. based off of your your fucking emotion at that time. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. And I'm just like, and it sucks that society. You know, at the end of the day, they just take women's word for this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like I remember, yep. I was I was having a, 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 a with one of my old roommates. You know, he was on that like you know mangina shit, and we're gonna talk about that later. But he was on this like you know sit mangina shit, talking about we were talking about rape, and he was like, and I said, yo, I said if some, I said if a woman in my family got raped, right? I yeah. said I would ask her exactly what happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then so right. he he looked at me like I was crazy. He was like, "Why would you need to ask her? Like, wh wouldn't you? Wh why would you need to question her about that?" And I'm like, "Dude, what do you mean? Why would I need to question her about this? Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. You know how many? So I'm like, so would you rather me not question her and then some some dude who didn't do shit gets fucked up, or would you rather right. me question her so we could get to the bottom of what's really going on so that we get to the reality of the situation? You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. It, Cause there's so many times where a woman will say, Oh, well he, he pressured me. He did this. He did that. And the dude didn't do shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? I've right. literally been in situations where I was with one of my friends and it was a one time I was with one of my friends. We at some party and he's making out with some chick. The chick gets on top of him. They're making out. And that was all that happened. And we left. Do you understand? And I'm watching him. And I was with this other chick. And we were both watching him because we were on the other side of the couch watching him doing what the fuck they do. Right after that, this girl hits up my sister talking about, oh, you know, that guy, he, he was, uh, you know, he was pressuring me and he was all over me. And I'm like, what the fuck was she talking about? You feel what I'm saying? Because I saw the whole thing and none of that shit happened. You feel what and I'm she saying? Was, no, but you said it. She was on top of him. Exactly. You see what I mean? So like, and I'm like, what is she talking about? I was like, no, I saw. Remember I, I told you, it, 
It's called regret rape. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. That's what it's, it is a name for it. When these chicks regret something that they did, they turn it. They try to turn it around on the guy. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. You see, it's, and it's, it's it's just a whole bunch of bullshit. And I'm just like, yo, my man. thing. <laughs> I saw the I saw the article, son, and they showed a picture of the girl. Mm-hmm. My my number one, number one. Fuck the fuck all of the the, the rape charge shit. Right. Be- before that part, mm-hmm. the bitch is ugly. Man. And that's what I'm saying. I was I like... would, yo, let me tell you something. <laughs> if I got charged for rape, like you know Vita Guerra, mm-hmm. I'm that's a model. Vita Guerra's a model, and she is. Like, pretty much, she is the one, like, one female on this planet that I would marry, no questions asked. Right, right. <laughs> like, if she came to me and said, look, I want to be your wife, I'd be like, okay, let's go downtown right now. Right, Period. right. Period. Right. She's, if, if a bitch looked like her, said I raped her, mm-hmm. okay, I would be, like, very mad and disappointed and upset, right. but I'd be like, well, that's a bad bitch. I probably would have <laughs> raped her, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, son, if a fuck. And I'm not even going to rape. It's wrong. Rape is wrong. I'm just saying in the realm of the conversation and I'm the dying joke. here. But. Um, well, you, well, you got to say that disclaimer, disclaimer again before. before this, they get this, a... this, this... <laughs> you, I'm not condoning the rape at all. I'm just in the realm of the conversation, right. you know, just to keep it, uh, you know, humorous. Right. If, I, if, if, I, if, I, if I can get away with that these days. But anyway, what I'm saying is if, the, if a chick accused me of rape and she was ugly, Yo, I would be in the court like, your honor, look at this bitch. Exactly. Are you serious? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my like, goodness. yo, when, when they fucking caught um, uh, Kobe and w- w- with the chick right. at the hotel, right. yo, I was so mad. Now, I was see, so mad because the bitch was whack. See, if, if, if I was your lawyer, I'd just be like, your honor. My client is clearly insane because nobody would rape this chick. Do you see her? <laughs> yo, the, yo, the chick was disgusting. They showed a picture of the chick. I'm like, who's raping this bitch? Who? <laughs> who's who's oh, willing man. to fuck their life up just for for this pussy? <clears throat> Hell oh, no. no. Oh my god, I'm Stop dying it. here. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. If you want to choose, bottom line, you want to choose me a rape, you got to be bad. You got to mm-hmm. be a fucking dime, straight up and down. Because once I get out of jail, I'm killing you and going back to jail. If you if you ugly, you accuse me of rape, and I go to jail, as soon as they let me out, I'm killing you. Right. I'm fucking murdering you, and I'm going right back to jail. I'm straight up. Because if oh. I spent so much fucking time, then what's the point of me coming back out here trying to make a life? No. Right. When right. I come out. I'm going to find your ugly ass. Mm. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> I'm going to chop you up. I'm going to do some shit where I'm going to be on death row once I go back in jail, son. Right, right. It's you crazy. understand? <laughs> because, yo, nah, for real, because this falsely accusing the rape shit, son, yo, yo, it is the absolute worst. Mm-hmm. Like, these chicks really think that they could just control, like, they can really just take a man's life for nothing, be like, it's like, it's nothing. Right, it's like, like... Just based on your fucking feelings, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come mm-hmm. on, like, come on, like, son, there, there's a, there's a, there's things going around on the internet, these women are fucking saying that if you, like, in certain, I think it was the UN, they were having some type of conference at the UN with some feminists, and they, and when the people clap. Right. They fucking said, oh, the clapping made them uncomfortable, son. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, when, when people clapped after we finished speaking um, at, the, at the summit or whatever it was, we felt uncomfortable. We, we, the noise and the, and the hand gestures made us feel um, threatened and all of this shit. Wow. Wait, clapping like and this? And I'm like, yeah, this thing happening out there just like that, son. I'm telling you. <laughs> Like, these women got to get their feelings back into check. Like, bring it back to reality, son. Right, right. <laughs> All right, look, look, the, the way, like, honestly, the way I talk, like, I'm, you hear me getting the passionate and excited and I'm talking loud and everything mm-hmm. like that. Right. There are, there are women out there that will literally say that I verbally raped them because of the, 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 the baritone in his voice, voice and, his, right. and his anger and all of this shit. Like, they could, they will say that, my dude, like. Mm-hmm. There are feminists out there like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, <laughs> you gotta you gotta really be careful, and you gotta have a certain type of positive confidence when you're dealing with these females, because some of them you don't know who you step into, man. You really don't right, know. Right, right. Nah, real talk, real talk, man. It's it's 
it's terrible out there. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Like you got You got to be careful out here nowadays more than ever. Seriously, because you don't want to get it caught up in no bullshit. Because imagine, yo, you, join, you, you got to join that bad boy membership for real, sure right? You know what you're doing out <laughs> for there, real. Yeah, for real. Go to badboymembership.com, people, for real, for real. So before we get, before we go on break, I want to, I want to read. Uh, we got a, a, a email from a subscriber, so I'm gonna read nice. the email. We're gonna get into this. So it says, it says uh, I have an ex girlfriend that I've been messing with on and off for about seven years. I'm cheating on my new girl I have now uh, with her. We fuck all the time, and I wanted to, I want to get back with her, but she doesn't. Uh, want to get back with me should i leave her alone or keep tearing that ass up all right so okay i just want to say one thing i just want to say one thing before you start <laughs> right that notice this guy is a subscriber mm -hmm. and he's getting he's getting he's he's getting pussy on two ends right exactly. i just i just need for all the listeners to realize that fact exactly. before we move forward right badboymembership.com this is not a game exactly you see like this is real shit so okay go ahead pretty much pretty much that's a good that's a good point um so <laughs> so the dude is saying he's been banging his ex for about seven years and now he got a new chick and he's you know he's um you know cheating on her what i would say to this is this first of all i i don't even think you need to have a girlfriend at this point you understand what i'm saying how, how old did he say he was he didn't even say how old he was but oh, okay and from what i'm reading it's like okay you got this new chick you're fucking with and you got the old chick who was your ex that, that still want to bang you. And you said you've been banging her on and off for seven years. So to me, you got a good thing going because you, you have sort of like a, a long-term fuck buddy with your ex. You understand? And you got this new chick that you're dealing with. So you're getting sex from her. So I would just say, you know, what you really got to do is just like keep them both around and not really be on some girlfriendy shit with the other one. You understand? Or, and don't even try to get any on some girlfriendy shit with your ex. Cause you're saying, he's saying, Hey, I want to try to get back with my ex. And my question is why you understand? Right. Because she's right. even saying she's, t she said that she doesn't want to get back with him. You understand what I'm saying? She just want to, she just want to get the dick. Right. Like, yeah, that's good. So my just give her the alone. dick and, 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 and give the other girl the dick and don't be on some, you know, it's because it seemed like he, he feels like, you know, and I think a lot of guys feel this way that they, they sort of feel like they need a girlfriend. You understand what I'm saying? Or they want the girlfriend. And it's like, you can still have the girlfriend experience because a guy wants, sometimes you want a chick, you know, a, a regular chick that you could keep, you know, having sex with and, you know, do things with or whatever. You could still do all that shit without having to have the label. So if you got your ex who's still having sex with you, you know, on and off for seven years and you got some new chick. Just, you know, just stick with them and have fun and talk to more girls and have fun because, you know, you, you, it's like you're forcing yourself into a girlfriend, boyfriend type of relationship, but you don't need to. You understand? You're right, and, and, and now right. you're making it sort of like difficult. Now And now now you're in, he's in a position where he has a girlfriend that he's cheating on now. You understand? So it's like, right. you know, and I'm I'm not here to be the moral police, you understand? But I'm just saying like, you know, unless your girl knows you fucking other chicks, it's going to kind of be, you know, on some shaky ground because right. if your girl is the type who's, you know, kind of who would kind of get crazy over this shit, you, it's like you don't want to have to deal with the drama of her finding out you fucking your ex or you fucking some other girl if you actually have a girlfriend. So I would say, like, you know, right now, I would actually truthfully, if I was him, I would have. Oh, he should have done this before. See, this is this is the part that sucks. Is that sometimes when you're in situations, you've you've gone too deep, so now it's hard to <laughs> it's it's hard to come back. <laughs> I don't know to do he's, he's gone. He's gone balls deep. Exactly. <laughs> you've gone so balls deep that it's going to be an issue to try to like you know rectify it. Because this is what I'm saying. Like if if the girl he's with now, if he would have told her, hey, listen, we cool. Let's hang out. Let's get right. you know do our thing. And I see right. he could have been fucking this new girl and fucking his old girl and everything would have been cool. But now exactly, you know right. what I'm saying? Now, now you have this new girl who is going to be sort of shaky because you want to, you know, you, you still want to sort of mess with her, but at the same time you would, you, you messing with your ex. And then now if she finds out about the ex. She's probably going to get all, you know, in her feelings and it's going to be some drama. And then right. now if, if you keep telling the ex, Hey, I want to be with you, 
she's going to be like, this nigga, I just want to, you know, I just want his dick and he keep trying to pressure me. So I'm going to stop fucking with him altogether. You feel what I'm saying? So right. keep, you know, keep smashing the X if you want to, you know, just do that. And I would say for this chick, you know, I would say slowly, but surely like sort of, you, you're going to have to sort of turn it back into like a, a fuck buddy situation with this new chick. You understand? Cause I don't know how long you've been with the new chick. I don't know. You know, I don't know what the situation is, but in the long run, it's going no, to be. Well, not a, no, I wouldn't say a fuck, but I mean, not to cut you up, but not to, right. I wouldn't say a fuck buddy situation. I would say keep the fuck buddy situation with the ex. Right. But keep a dating situation with the new chick. Right. Right. That's what I mean. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, don't, don't like, cause to, it seemed like he's trying to be on some, you know, relationship, you're my girl, girl type shit with the new chick. You feel right. what I'm saying? It doesn't seem to be necessary. Right. And that's what I'm saying. So like, he needs to like sort of hook his shit up like in, in, you know, like that. You understand what I'm saying? And then if he actually wants to have a girlfriend, you understand? It, it, it ain't no thing to tell your girl, Hey, listen, you know, you my girl, but I'm going to be fucking other chicks on the side. You feel me? Because <laughs> if she's feeling you and a lot of guys don't understand this, if your girl is really, really feeling you, you understand? And she, she sees how valuable you are. She's attached to you. She'll, she'll, she'll make it work in most cases. She'll be like, I right, just, you know, just, just chill the fuck out a little bit. Cause a lot of chicks on an ego level, they like to say, Oh, I would never do that. I would never go for that. I would never, you know, be with a man who's going to blah, blah, blah. And then you see all these chicks who got cheated on by their man and they're still with a man who cheated on them. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And right. there's a reason for that because they are, they're attached to the guy. They see that, you know, what the guy provides, you know, as far as, as how valuable he is. And they're like, well, does it really make sense for me to stop fucking with this guy just because he fucked some chick for like five minutes, you know, a month ago? You understand what I'm saying? Like they start, it's weird. They almost get, it's funny how logical a chick can get when these situations come up. You feel what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's the funny part to me. You feel what I mean? Because mm-hmm. imagine they, a lot of these chicks, they got dudes who's taking care of the house. They, you know, they, they the dudes is making good money. They treat Paying them right. Rent. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yep. So they're looking at it like, well, he did fuck this chick, but I'm getting all this other shit from this dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. You know, it's right. crazy. But yeah, I would say for this dude, you know, for now on at this point, you know, just, just, uh, you know, just have fun, man. Don't, don't feel like you need to have some girlfriend. And if you do feel like you want to have a girlfriend, you got to set it up to where you're not going to have a, a drama situation, you know, li- lo- later on down the line. You feel what I'm saying? And l- right. unless you wanted them do to are good at being super, extremely deceptive and you want to, you know, kind of play that game, then that's what you got to do. But to me, you know, in my experience and in other people's experience that I've seen, it's not that worth it. You know what I'm saying? To, right. to sort right. of, you know go down that road. You feel what I mean? But you know, you gotta, you gotta figure out what's the, what's the best course of action. But right now it seemed like, you know, you got shit popping off, man. And, and I think it's because, you know, you're, you're, you're definitely, you know, taking heed to the game. Like you were saying, miles, like he's actually, you know, making shit happen, which is why he got chicks popping off. You understand what I'm saying? And see, and, and that's another point too. Like, you know, sign up you know go ahead and sign up but be ready because right, right. the shit the shit really works mm-hmm. so you got to be ready to meet to start making decisions like my man now like exactly. it's like oh well i got this chick over there i got that chick over there right. one's a fuck buddy one's i'm the one i'm dating mm-hmm. like you know what i'm saying but this kid i would say yeah i would say the same thing like you know have fun don't be trying to put labels on it yet and just yo work them work them bitches man work, right. work them yo <laughs> what yo you know what I would do what I would do is I would like try to like get super freaky on them mm-hmm. and then like tell the main tell the you know the chick he's dating right. be like yo you know uh I want you to dress sexy I'm gonna take you to this nice hotel and then tell the other one mm-hmm. that you want to that you want to meet her at a hotel and then give her the the you know let her get there first. Right. You understand? And tell both of them to dress sexy and then tell her to just wait for you. Bring the other one in, mm-hmm. close the fucking door, and be like, eat her pussy right now. Just do it. <laughs> just go ahead. And he'll be like, but, but, just do, do it. You know? Mm-hmm. Because, yo, you don't know what's going to happen to a girl. Man, especially if you, if you excite that, like, sexual part of them. Right. There's a lot of shit you could get chicks to do, B, because mm-hmm. chicks are nasty, man. Chicks right. are nasty. And, and, and chicks, they, 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 they love that assertive, aggressive Hell nature, yeah. especially in a sexual Hell situation. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm, yeah. like I've been with chicks. Everything is already said. Like I said, if right. you tell both of them to dress in some, in some negligee or lingerie or whatever the hell, mm-hmm. and have both of them up in there with that sexual anticipation waiting to fuck you and shit. Right. You'd be like, well, if you want some of this dick today, you got to eat her pussy. And then after that, you got to eat her pussy. And then I want to see both of y'all in the 69. Right. Or else none of y'all getting no dick today. Exactly. What? Exactly. What? Exactly. Trust me, they will respond. Now, they you will know, respond. You know, it's funny because I've been in situations like that where chicks, they, they, you know, I was with some chick and, you know, she was, uh, you know, we was kissing or whatever. And then, you know, she was basically about to go down and give me head and shit. So, you know, she got the dick in her hand or whatever, but she's talking to me while she got the dick in her hand. And I looked at her and I said, yo, shut the fuck up and suck my dick. And then she, she said that turned her on so much. Just me saying that, you feel what I'm saying? Chicks like, let me tell you something. Remember chicks, they are about feeling. Mm-hmm. They're about experiencing right and and i was re- i was reading something the other day and it made it made a lot of sense like notice women love to go shopping they love to go on vacations they love to go they love to go out and do things and experience things because everything for them is about the experience and the feelings of the experience right. you understand what i'm saying right. now every girl is not the same of course some women are prudes and they want to be nuns, and if you say, hey, shut up, shut the fuck up, suck my dick, right. then they're going to jump to that feminist shit or whatever. Right. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> there are more women than you think mm-hmm. out there that are on some freaky shit, and if you are the, you you could be the guy to bring that out of them. You understand? Right. If you do it right, and, and you better not flinch. You can't flinch. You can't flinch with this shit. Mm-hmm. When, you, when, you bring, when you bring the second one into the hotel room and say, Ain't none of y'all getting no dick until y'all start eating each other pussy 69. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, you better not flinch. Don't smile. Don't crack a smile. Don't do shit. Because once they think you playing around, right. then it's a wrap. Right, exactly, exactly. You got to be like a drill sergeant with that shit. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be surprised. You're going to have two bad bitches 69 right in front of you waiting, just waiting for you to fuck them. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Don't fucking kidding? talk. Nigga, he, 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 he got, yo, that nigga got a porno on his hands. That's what he got. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure it's a nice hotel, too. Not no side of the street motel. Make sure it's a, right. it's a night, at least like a, you know, a holiday inn, at least. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Make that shit go down, crazy, son. And crazy, Yo, send, he, tell him to send it, tell it, send an email once you, once you make it happen. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Let us know what happened. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, oh my man. goodness. And on that note, listen, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about these male feminists, these manginas and simps on The Bad Boy Show. We'll be back in a second. Do you want to learn the easiest way to have more sex with more women? Then get the critically acclaimed book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. In this book, you'll learn everything you need to know about attracting and sleeping with beautiful women. That's How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Get your copy today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Are you an actor who needs headshots? Do you have an event or a wedding coming up and you need a photographer? If you do, make sure you go to PavionPhoto.com. Pavion is a professional photographer who will supply you with high quality video and photography services for any event. Contact him at PavionPhoto.com. That's P-A-V-I-O-N Photo.com. PavionPhoto.com. Yeah, we are back on the Bad Boy Show. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Man, man, man. We we saying way too much on this episode. This is <laughs> fucking. This might be the last one because they're going. They're going. The whole channel is going to get shut down. Everything. Yo, that shit. That shit. I just told him that was like some exclusive player <laughs> pimp Mac shit. Like exactly. straight up. <laughs> like saying. straight up. Like that's the that's the type of shit that pimps do. Mm-hmm. Like they get two bitches in a room. Like do that shit, bitch, and they, <laughs> then they do it. And then, then, then before you know it, you'll be a fucking pimp, <laughs> fucking selling pussy and making mad bread on the oh, side. Oh man, <laughs> it's fucking crazy, man. Oh, uh, so listen today. We wanted to talk about, you know, the male feminists, the manginas, the simps, all these guys who are basically, you know, 
fucking up the game, pandering to women. They are the cheerleaders for women and, and feminism and all this other nonsense. And, you know, so like, a bit, let's, let's, let's just sort of define some of these things. Cause it, they, they sort of like intertwine in certain yeah. cases, but like the male feminist is basically, you know, the guy who he's, he's just, you know, he's, he's the male version of the female feminist. He's like, Oh, you know, equal rights for women and everything that, you know, if, especially if there are those extreme uh, right. male feminists, they're like, you know, all, everything you guys are doing is wrong and it's, it's oppressive and we need to be more, uh, you know, accommodating to women. So they, they're on that type of shit. Like they, 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 they have bought into the equality, you know, the, that men and women are both equal and we're all the same mantra. You understand what I'm saying? Those are Dumb like niggas. the male feminist dudes, right? Then you got the manginas are basically, you know, a man with a vagina. Like he, he, he just sounds like a woman all the time. So he's sort of like the male feminist because he sort of takes on that female ide- ideology. He's, he's sort of like the, 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 the guy who's going to save the woman from the evil men who are trying to fuck her all the time. You know, he's one of those dudes that, you know, if, if you get into an argument with a chick, he'll, he'll like jump in and, and like, if he sees a woman slap you and, and, and like, and then he, and then you slap the woman, he'll jump on top of you talking about, don't slap her. Don't touch her. She's a delicate flower. You know, those, those type <laughs> of dudes, right? Then you got the simps. Those are just the guys who bend over backwards for chicks. You understand? Like, you know, they, they feel they're beneath women. So they feel like they have to do extra shit, buy her flowers, kiss her ass, buy her drinks, do all this other stuff so that they can sort of get approval from these women in order to, uh, to make something happen. You understand? So the thing, the thing that, that, that a lot of these male feminists and, you know, manginas and simps and stuff don't realize is that, you know, their behavior, a lot of them, you know, a lot of their behavior is, is, is just pandering to women's in order to get women to like them that's really what it's about you understand a right. lot of these dudes are you know undercover nice guys who don't know how to attract women so what they do is is that they think well let me get on her side let me you know fight her cause and you know she'll she'll think i'm a, a really nice guy and then eventually maybe you know she'll want to be with me because i'm fighting her fight and I'm by her side and all that other nonsense. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but it, right. it doesn't work because what a lot of these male feminists, uh, you know, they don't realize is that the way that attraction works with a woman is that you can't technically listen to what women say they want and then try to do that in order to get them to like you. It doesn't work that way. You understand? Right. <laughs> because, you know, it, it, the way that women, what women say and what they respond to is two totally different things. Like you, you got to know that that's like the basic shit. So this is why a lot of nice guys get sort of confused because they think, well, you know, a woman says she wants a nice guy that's going to respect her. And then you say, okay, I'm going to be the nice guy that's going to respect her. And then she's going to want me. And then you realize she ends up with the bad boys and the jerks and all this other stuff. You understand? Right. But these, you know, male feminists and manginas and simps, they, they still haven't, gotten it yet they still don't understand they still don't get it you feel what i'm saying they they don't know the truth about women because they've been conditioned to think that all women are special they've been conditioned to think that women can do no wrong they've been conditioned to think that you know everything that a woman does is great and 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 it's just us evil men who are stopping women from progressing and 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 we're just we just keep oppressing them and we have to stop so they're they're basically Ha- they have the same mouthpiece as a woman. They have the same ideology as a woman. And that right there affects their game. And also it sort of, it sort of affects your game in a way, as far as you being a real dude, trying to go out here and get chicks. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you have so many dudes who are sort of like manginas, who are simps, who are bending over backwards for women and all this other stuff, a lot of women get, uh, you know, uh, sort of like spoiled and they get used to that sort of treatment because they like the power high that it gives them because they, they, con- they control these type of dudes so that sometimes when you approach them or you talk to them, they assume like you're like these other guys out here before you even say anything. You feel what I'm saying? And then so now they're like, OK, when you approach them on some real shit, it's either one of two things is usually going to happen. Either your game is going to be so tight that they sort of are going to like acquiesce to it or they're going to fight you 
on what you're doing because you're 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 going to be a representation of the real guy who's actually oppressing them or who's keeping them down and all that other nonsense you feel what i'm saying so yeah. that shit you know that shit happens out here a lot of times you understand and and the thing is is that you know what these guys don't understand is that they're being manipulated by these women you understand like if you are a male feminist if you're a mangina if you're a simp you're basically being manipulated by women you understand you have to understand this 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 fact like you're being manipulated by them women women they know that they basically know what you're doing they know that you're taking their side they know that you are uh bending over backwards for them because you want vagina they understand <laughs> this <laughs> they don't, they don't believe that you actually care they're just looking they're just using you as a mouthpiece so when a real dude comes and says yo y'all on that you know feminist stuff y'all talking all that garbage blah 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 they want to point to you and say why can't you be more like this male feminist and they're saying this to the real dudes you feel what i'm saying they're saying this to dudes like you who understand shit because they don't want they don't want um they don't want more men to wake up to what's really going on because that's going to make their cause harder to, you know, happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's exactly. going to make it harder for them to like really, you know, get over on a lot of dudes because the game, the name of the game right now is to shame you for being a man. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what it is. They want to shame you for being a dude, for being a guy who likes women, who actually wants to have sex with women who actually wants to be masculine. That's what, you know, a lot of feminists and stuff do. And what happens is that if you become one of these male feminists and all that other stuff, then you become the type of guy who is perpetuating what these feminists are saying. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, that's how, that's how it ends up. You know what I mean? And what's really going on is a lot of these manginas and feminine male feminists and all that, they don't have game. So what they have to do is, they have to do what they're doing. So basically what that means is since they don't have game in order to get girls, right? They have to find a way to get in the door. The way that right. they're in the door is to pretend that they care about, you know, what these women are, are talking about and going through and all this other stuff. You understand? Because if you want to keep it real, if you want to keep it real, dudes like dudes like me and and miles we're actually feminists if you think about it let me tell you like mm, we're, we're the mm. real feminists you know why because we tell we have a we have a book called it's your fault you're single for women right and basically we're telling women hey listen you can be responsible for your shit we're telling women hey if you want to be equal guess what how about you approach a guy and take him out and spend money on him you understand right. if you if you are really a feminist if you're about equality if you're about you know you being an adult woman who can do whatever she wants then we're telling you to take responsibility right we just did a story we just talked about the story just now about the woman accusing the guy of rape right we're telling right. women listen be responsible and stop you know being on that bullshit that's what real feminism quote unquote should be about if we're talking about being equal and and giving women the right to be equal or you know to treat you as an as an equal or that you know oh you're that human being that we're treating equal this is what we're saying you see what i mean but what 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 feminism has turned into a lot of times is male shaming uh basically you know double standards for women or making it look like women are being oppressed when they're really not you feel what i'm saying right. and then having these dudes who have no gain learn or, or you know try to sort of uh wiggle their way into the movement in order to try to sort of uh you know uh get in and get in these chicks pants that's really all it is it's kind of like the guy who feels like oh well let me be in the friend zone with her a little bit and maybe later she's going to see me as a potential guy she wants to date let me just be nice to her for right now that's all these guys are doing it for you understand what i'm saying <laughs> And the sad part is they never respect these dudes. Exactly. They never respect these dudes because in the back of their mind, they kind of know what you're doing. They know, look, you're, you're, you're like, they already see you as part of the quote unquote patriarchy anyway. So it's right, like, right. you know, I, you're a man and, you know, inherently my philosophy is to not trust you. Kind of like how, like, I don't really trust white people. 
Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cool with white people. I got white friends. You know, I work with white people. Like, I do photography for white people. Right. But to say that um, I trust them or I feel oh, a certain way, like how when I'm with black people, it's just not the same. You feel right, me? Right, right. And right. it's not, it, you know, it's not nothing about prejudice or nothing like that. It's just a thing. Like, I'm sure white people feel, you know, comfortable when they're around a bunch of white people. You feel me? Right. As opposed to when they're around a bunch of brown people. Right. So, when a woman sees a, a quote unquote feminist, in the back of their minds, subconsciously, you're still like a CIA agent. Right. You're, you're infiltrating. <laughs> right. You feel me? So they use your, they keep your utility on deck because they use you as, you know, you're at the rally. Maybe you're there to protect them if somebody assaults them or something like that. They're using you, you know, and they know that. Right. And you being such a utility, there's no way they're going to have respect for you. And if they don't have respect for you, there's no way they can actually see you as somebody that they could be with. Mm-hmm. So you, you're you're really wasting your time, and like you said, you just waste you 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 messing it up for for masculine cats out here that that's really trying to deal with the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because because you gotta understand a lot of the stuff that the, you know the quote unquote quote unquote feminists um, you know argue about or or you know kick and scream about a lot of it is is nonsense. A lot of it, you understand, like a lot of it, a lot of it doesn't really have any basis in, uh, you know, in, in anything realistic. So even for example, like women will say, you know, feminists will say, oh, well, you know, we, we, we need, we need to have uh, equal pay, uh, on the jobs or whatever. And there's a lot of studies that show that women aren't technically getting less than men. The reason why there's right. a lot of women getting less than men is because in certain situations, women will choose jobs where their the, the pay for those type of jobs are less than what the average guy would, the average job a guy would do. Do you understand? Right. Or, right. or if you, if like, like for example, if you and a, a girl are working at Walmart, you understand making 10, $15 an hour, whatever you make, Y'all are both making the same pay. You think because he's a man, he's getting 17 and you're getting $12 an hour and y'all both working at Walmart? No. You understand what I'm saying? So if a woman is a vice president of such and such company and a guy is the vice president of such and such company, they're both basically making the same thing because they're making vice president money. You feel what I'm saying? Because they chose the same type of field or job. You feel what I mean? So and th- and the only reason why if the, see the, and they don't the, the, the reason why that pay gap thing always comes into play is because they never take into con- they don't take into consideration all of the factors of having a job and right like life decisions and shit like that because right. you know women women if you got kids you got to get home to your kids so you're not staying late after work and mm-hmm. getting overtime and, so at the, by the end of the year because of all these little things like women get the period some you know right they got to visit the G O the O B G Y N whatever the fuck it is. Right. right, because of these, all these little things, all of these little things that happen at the end of the year, the man is going to end up making more money because right. he, you know, because he's a man and he doesn't have have female things to worry about. He spends more time at the job, making the company more money, so he gets paid more money. Right, and the thing is, and and, and the funny part is, is that when we talk about it in the dating realm, and you you sort of like put it together with the whole job thing. If, if, you know, if in fact, let's say that the argument is men are making more money than women, right? Let's just say that's a fact. Men are making more money than women, right? So Mm -hmm. isn't it, isn't it like a a thing, right? Where when men ask women out and take them on dates, isn't the man usually paying for the date? Or paying for the, 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 you know, the, 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 you know, the couple of first dates or whatever, or the first, second, third date or whatever. The man is usually paying for these dates. So if men were making more money, wouldn't it technically make sense for the man to be making more money if this is how it goes? You understand what right, I'm saying? Right, because the women, the women ain't, ain't coming to you asking you out. Right, and they're not spending their money on the date, right? It's supposed to be the guy taking her out, buying a dinner, buying this and buying that, right? So, But then if we're talking about equality and it being this whole, you know, you know everybody equal and stuff, and, you know, the statistics say it says that, you know, men and women technically aren't making or, or men aren't making the, you know, more money than women technically if they're in the same type of position. You understand? So then now it's a thing where if we're going to talk about equality, then the woman should also be paying for the dates. Women should be, you know, approaching guys and asking them out. But see, the thing is, is that when you talk to a feminist or a male feminist about this, 
They don't want they're they're quiet. They don't want to talk about this stuff. You understand? Because what's happening is is the fem the, the feminist is all about what's going to benefit her or women, right? The male feminist is about backing her up because he's trying to get pussy. Do you understand? It's really that simple. That's all it is. That's the that's the agenda. You understand? There's no guy out there who's a quote unquote male feminist who isn't really doing this. Uh, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, out of like, oh, I'm, I'm really uh, down for the cause. You know why? Because most men who think logically understand that all the, a lot of the stuff that the women are fighting for don't make sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's impossible for you to be like a real logical dude. Most of the shit that you see that a lot of femi- feminists are, are, are going about and arguing about. You, you, you're like, well, that kind of doesn't make sense, though. So, <laughs> so, you, so you can't, in good conscience, be able to stand behind it because a lot of it doesn't make sense. Do you see what I'm saying? The stuff that you're fighting for doesn't make sense. You understand? So it, it's, it's like, you know, it's like if you're, if you're a guy who's going on that male feminist uh, agenda, you know, because I, I heard I heard guys who are quote unquote male feminists say, oh, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't like when, you know, there shouldn't be street harassment. There shouldn't be guys going out and approaching girls in the street and talking to them. And again, like I said, since these guys have no game, right, what will be the best course of action for them to join with? Oh, let's get rid of street harassment so I don't have to have the pressure of going out to and talking to women in the street because that's how guys get girls. They have to actually go up and approach them. So how about we eliminate that? So my non gaming having ass doesn't have to participate in any of that shit to get sex. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. That's what's going on. And, and it goes on even on a subconscious level. Cause sometimes they're not even consciously thinking about that. But the thing is, is that you got to understand when a male feminist sees you going out and talking to a woman and getting with a chick, that eats him up inside because he doesn't have the balls to do it. Do you understand right. what I'm saying? Which is why he's trying his way as to be that nice guy, male feminist, uh, you know, guy that's going to go and be with the feminist and, oh, I'm down for your cause. Like, Miles, you remember that video the other day you sent me where it was like it was a video of some dude at a feminist rally and you said yeah. he sort of looked like you, like a. A, a taller, fatter version of you with some shit. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and so there's this guy on the stage at this feminist rally talking about, oh yeah, you know, I'm down with my sisters and we, we need to stop all this and stop all that. And if you look at this dude, you could tell he's the type of dude who doesn't get any ass. You could just tell, you could <laughs> see it. You're like, this guy right. doesn't just, get just no by, pussy. Like, dude, his body language and everything. Right. Like the dude, while he was up there speaking, he was holding his head down, and mm-hmm. he don't he don't make eye contact with nobody. Like, yeah, right. he's just you that type saying? of dude. <laughs> he's the type of dude that goes into the dorm room of a chick who's his friend and helps her study. That's what he's doing. You understand what I'm saying? He not doing nothing else. So this is what I'm saying. Right. A, a lot of these male feminists, a lot of these manginas, a lot of these simps, whatever, they're just a lot of them are just dudes who. Um, they, 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 they're not really getting shit popping. It's the same way where you have a lot of feminists who complain about street harassment and all this other stuff. Most of these chicks who's complaining about that don't even look like the type of chicks who, who men will generally holler at. You understand? So they're just hating on the fact that maybe some girl they know who's, who's actually hot and gets a lot of attention. They're mad that this girl's getting attention. You feel what I'm saying? You got to understand a lot, a lot of these you got to say a lot of these causes and a lot of these things that people are fighting for, there's, there's an underlying thing going on as far as a personal insecurity or agenda that they have based off of these things. Do you understand? Right. You got to understand that shit. That's, that's, that's where a lot of this shit is going on. Because again, in order for you to even uh, be propelled to do anything or to take action about something, something has to, has to sort of hit home for you in order for you to even want to be a part of that shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yep. So yep. pain, pain, pain is, is a main inspiration for a lot of that activism shit. Right. Right. So when you ask a dude, you know, you say to a dude, yo, what's in it for you to be a male feminist? As far as we're talking about, like when we saw our male feminists, I'm not talking about you saying, Oh, but I, you know, I want equal rights for women and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about 
the actual shit that's going on where it's like the man shaming the you know the oh well don't talk to women in the street because you're harassing them the oh you are an oppressive man like why would you as a man be down with that do you understand it doesn't make sense it does not make sense at all you feel what i'm saying it it just that's like that's like me as a as a black man being down with like trump for like what 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 why what what is it what is that doing for me like what is why would I need like what would be the the logical explanation for me to be down with it? You feel what I'm saying? Like how does that uh, relate to me being down? Like it, it just doesn't make sense. So you got to ask yourself about that when you see these these male feminists and you know and and just like you know the simps they're just you know they're just trying to figure out ways to get ass because at least see the simps are different from the the male feminists. The simps are just trying to find a way to the booty. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And they're right. just trying to, you know, they're trying to be nice about it. The the male feminists, on the other hand, they're going the extreme and, and you know, g- they're joining the cause to try to make it happen. They're like, they're like a nigga who joins a yoga class. Why would a nigga join a yoga class? You understand? Because <laughs> he, he ain't trying to do no downward dog and all that nigga wants some pussy. You understand what I'm saying? That's why he's joining the yoga class. And that's why these male feminists are usually you know being male feminist you feel what i'm saying that's really it. that's really all it is you feel what i'm saying it's nothing more nothing less you you can make it as complicated as you want to be or complicated as you think it is but it's it's nothing more nothing less than that you understand it's just you know these dudes who ain't got no game trying to get pussy you can make it more complicated you, 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 you know what i want to say to the um you know when um okay I want to make a point about when you find something that you're passionate about, mm-hmm. it attracts people to you. Right. Right? Now, sometimes it'll attract weak people to you, so you have to be careful. Now, I think this example is one of those situations of attracting weak people. Right. These feminists, they have something that they're passionate about. I mean... We don't have to get into if it makes sense and all that jazz. Right. But the point is, they're passionate about it. They're passionate about it. They're interested in it. They believe in the history, the philosophy, whatever it is. It gets them to get up and organize and to do shit, right? Mm-hmm. When a weak person sees a strong person going after something, right? Be- and it's not even necessarily that they're weak. It's that they, they're probably not even that weak. They probably just don't really know what to go after for themselves. Mm-hmm. So they see a, a certain type of strength and inspiration in you to come. They want to be around you. They want to be around it. They want to support you, quote right. unquote. And they, but they have a, like you said, it's like another, it's like something else going on inside of them where mm-hmm. it's like either they're weak or they, or they don't have something going on for themselves. So they just want to come be a part of your shit. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. And then because these weak, uh, uh, again, you know, they're, they're sort of weak when it comes to, interaction and dealing with the the the, uh, the other sex they're they latch on to these quote unquote you know like strong passionate women who are doing their thing you see what i'm saying right right now the reverse point that i want to make for the listeners for the for the people who are thinking about subscribing to the bad boy membership that's a big part of what we show you in the bad boy membership where we show you how to, you know, the the whole mantra, the truth is inside you. We show you how to find the thing that you want to be passionate about and develop that inside you so that will attract those women to you. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's a, it's, it's a really like, it, you know, it's a deep thing. It's a deep thing. But not find, as a man, not finding out what you're passionate about so you can fully express it and, 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 um, and work until you get to the highest level or the, you know, the most experienced version of yourself as a man. Um, that part is very important. And that's what really attracts females to you. That's what, you know, that's, you know, like we were saying earlier, that's how you could look at a woman and say, yo, shut the fuck up and suck my dick. Right. And she'll do it because she knows she's dealing with a guy that's about something. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's the same thing. Like when a you know when they say um a man it is something about a man in uniform. Oh, you know most women will say that shit. It's something about a man in uniform. Being in uniform is just an example that you you have something 
strong about you. You have something that you believe in to the point where you're wearing it on your body and right. it looks it looks organized, it looks it looks strong, it looks assertive. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You That's represent what makes some a shit. woman you represent an idea, you represent something. That's why women like men in uniform. But when you just blowing with the wind, you're like, oh, the girl that I like the girl that I have a crush on and I'm too scared to holler at is a feminist. So I think I'll become a feminist. Right. That's that's weak, my nigga. Exactly. That's whack. That's what I'm saying. You see That's what, I'm, what saying? I'm saying? Because even so when I, it when all I, it all works together. Because sometimes, because I always say this when I when I talk to like quote unquote male feminists and I ask them these questions and I question them just like how I question a feminist. It, it, it some of them are so far gone that they can't even articulate logically what they're fighting for, what they're you, right. know, you understand what I'm saying? Because they're, because like you said, they're not really passionate about that. They're passionate about pandering to these chicks. You understand because. If you if you have a guy who's actually let's say a a, a guy who is who who would be quote who would be quote unquote a real feminist like how I was saying with 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 myself and Miles who actually believe that women are strong enough to be in a, be in, be adults and not just go based off of emotion all the time be adults to be responsible for what they do and say you understand what I'm saying that's what we're talking about you understand that, right. that's what a, a you know a, a quote-unquote real male feminist would sound like you understand but that but that's just basically you know being a, a you know a, a man do you understand <laughs> being a man of truth you understand and 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 holding people accountable to what they say they they're going to do and all this other stuff you understand so but the thing is like 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 we were saying earlier if you don't have that passion about what you're doing you're just going to follow you know, these, these chicks, just because you, you know, you, you're, you have that weakness in you and you want to be accepted by them. Do you understand? Right. You want to be accepted by a woman. You want a woman so bad. And that's where a, a lot of it, a lot of the underlying things come from. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's where a lot of those things come from, because you got to understand a lot of dudes, they're scared to, you know, just in general, a lot of guys are scared to offend women. Why? Because they think if I offend her, I'm not going to, she's not going to like me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. So right. how does a man who thinks like that get into favor with a lot of women in out nowadays? He's like, well, I got to join and join up with whatever they're saying and doing in order to get them to like me in order to get some love. You feel what I'm saying? And that's where their mind is at because they, they, they don't, they don't understand their truth. Do you understand? <laughs> they don't exactly. understand that shit. You feel what I mean? So, you know, it's sad though. It's sad. It's kind of, <laughs> It's kind of sad out here. You know what I'm saying? It's really sad. But listen, we are we are out of time, people. Um, I want to yeah. thank you guys for listening. Make sure you tune in next week. And also, again, if you want to hear uh, all the Bad Boy Show um, episodes, go to ilooksexynaked.com, and you can listen to all of the shows. You can just click on the sidebar where it says Bad Boy Show. Click on it. You can hear all the episodes. All right? And, you know, pass it along to your friends and all that other good stuff, okay? So we are out of here, people. We'll see you next week. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We out. Peace. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.